resume reader, Croissant. And today I will be reading to you from Broken Crayons by Niklaron. Now on to chapter 12, New Family. Ukraine's point of view. It's been a few weeks since Russia and America started dating, and I was so happy for my brother. Finally, he won't feel lonely and he'll have someone there with him, other than me. I kept thinking for a bit as I walked on the dark streets on the way to my apartment. Then suddenly I heard a voice calling me. Excuse me, young lady, said a female voice, and I turned around and paused. It was a woman with a red and white flag I didn't recognize, but somehow seemed familiar. It's very dangerous to walk alone in these streets at night. May I accompany you? She asked softly. Oh, um, sure. What's your name? I asked, and allowed her to walk by my side. My name's Japanese Empire, but you can call me J.E. for short. She smiled. Oh, you're Japan's mother, right? I'm her friend. Well, sort of. I murmured. Oh, yes I am. What's your name? I'm Ukraine, I answered with a smile. Oh, she never told me about you, muttered J.E. Yeah, we're not really close. We're just in the same friend group. I informed her, and she nodded. Why are you walking alone in the first place, if you don't mind me asking? She turned to me as we got to my apartment and I thanked her. I guess I just didn't have anyone who walked in the same direction. I shrugged. Well, I'm glad I could help. Goodbye. She waved, and I waved back. It's nice to know there are good countries in this world. The next day, nobody's point of view. The academy halls were silent as usual, even with all these students and teachers walking and chatting. The size of that place made it feel empty even when it was full. One could think it was just all normal countries with their normal lives. Yet, one's life could change forever in this normal day. Let's leave this huge place and all its troubles and zoom back into a small talk. Ukraine strolled around those big halls and long corridors until she found the person she wanted to talk to. Hey, Japan! She called, and a girl with a red and white flag turned to her with a smile. Oh, hey, Ukraine. What's up? She called back and walked towards her. Everything is fine. How are you? Ukraine asked politely. I'm great, replied the Japanese girl. Yesterday, I met your mom. She was really sweet. Oh, really? That's nice. Yeah, she walked next to me on my way home to my apartment. So no homeless drunk will cling to me. I'm really thankful she did that. Those streets are really scary at night. Oh, yeah, she does that a lot. She always helps old people across the road or helps little kids find their parents. I'm glad to have such a nice mother. Japan said with a smile. Ukraine paused. What's wrong? Japan asked, noticing the sudden silence. It's just that I never knew my mother. She either died or left us all alone. Well, both ways make her seem gone to me. But I wish I remembered her. Ukraine mumbled. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. You're just lucky, said Ukraine with a forced smile. Yeah, I guess I am, Japan murmured. The thing is, I always wanted siblings, but my mother says it's better to adopt those who don't have parents rather than bring more people into this world. And well, I agree. Problem is, I kind of wanted to have siblings my age, and we can't seem to find ones. Suddenly, Japan gasped and looked into Ukraine's eyes. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? She asked and slowly smiled. It took Ukraine a moment to realize what she was talking about, 
but when she realized, she started smiling as well. We could adopt you in Russia. That would be amazing, exclaimed Ukraine. Do you think Russia will agree, though? asked Japan. It will take him a while to get used to the concept, but I'm sure he'll agree. I'll go ask him after class, and you ask your mother. Japan nodded, and they separated to their classes. Russia's point of view. After class, Ukraine ran up to me with a smile I haven't ever seen since I told her America and I were dating, which made me slightly chuckle. You won't believe what happened, she exclaimed, and I chuckled again. What happened? Some explanations later. Really? Japan's okay with that? I asked in disbelief. Why wouldn't she be? Ukraine asked, confused. You know, she was scared of me at first. Yeah, she was. She doesn't see you like that ever since the sleepover. No one does. Hmm. I hummed to myself. The last sentence, it's not so true. So, what do you think? Ukraine pulled me back to reality. If they are okay with this, then so am I. I kind of lied there. But it made Ukraine so happy, I had to give it a chance. A couple days and adoption papers later. Oh my god, really? That's amazing! America exclaimed after I told him what happened. I'm so happy for you. You're finally getting an actual family. That's great. He continued with a huge smile. His smile was adorable. I couldn't help myself and smiled as well. Yeah, lucky me. I murmured quite bitterly. The American probably noticed my tone as his smile was wiped off his face. What's wrong? He asked softly. It's, it's nothing, really. I was cut off by him. No, it's not. You're my boyfriend, Russia. I know when you're lying to me. He said bitterly, and I sighed. I hate it when he knows that I'm lying. Fine, fine. Yeah, I was lying. It's just that I haven't had a family in years, and I'm not sure I'm ready for it. I muttered, and he held my hand. You will be. I'm sure of it. He stated. His confidence would always convince me, so I nodded. Yeah, you're probably right. And that's the end of this chapter. And Jesus Christ, author, are you okay? Because you said your neck got snapped by Russia. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below that being said i hope you have a nice rest of your day night or whatever it is for you just enjoy your time and i will see you tomorrow